Oh. My. Gosh. Ten reasons why you'll never believe what happened. Blah, 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 blah. These are all signs of clickbait, but what is clickbait? You see, clickbait has been around for a while now, but recently it's been getting worse. It's the golden rule of journalism. Your introduction should grab the reader straight away. The hook attracts the reader into wanting to read more of what you're writing about. Clickbait headlines typically aim to exploit the curiosity gap, providing just enough information to make readers curious, but not enough to satisfy their curiosity. In 2015, clickbait was thought to die out due to the awareness of it. But in 2017, clickbait has gotten worse. Believe it or not, clickbait's been around for a long time. Even newspapers back in the 1900s developed clickbait in their stories, like crowd tries to kill would-be murderer. People back then called it yellow journalism. In order for the newspaper company to stay in business, journalists had to extend the truth just a little bit. Then, as the years went on, the yellow journalism got worse. Developing story titles just as Queen almost died of fear due to torpedo explosion, or archaeologists thinking of shooting King of Italy. After that, yellow journalism became a really big issue. Everyone caught on to the clickbaitiness and weren't buying newspapers anymore, thus making companies go out of business. Pretty soon, all the newspaper people decided to actually write true news. Great idea! It wasn't until 2001 or 2 that clickbait was introduced to the world of journalism again. It caught everyone off guard knowing that, well, yellow journalism hasn't been around for a long time. 2016 is when things got bad, introducing titles starting with You'll Never Believe, or 10 Reasons Why, or etc. Now with the wonderful invention of the internet, people had decided to trick viewers into clicking on not only their article, but videos too. Since YouTube offers money to good channels, people have been trying to trick people ever since. Because everyone's doing clickbait right now, it's led to some social media platforms like Facebook actually penalizing it. If you want to actually avoid being tricked into useless articles, then here are some tips for you. If you see an article with an outstanding picture or GIF on it, don't click it, unless you really want to. Another thing to look out for is the title. You'll never believe it would happen, or 10 plus reasons why you should, are very common clickbait titles. The last and most effective tip to avoid clickbait is to go outside and stop going on the internet. So there you have it, clickbait from the beginning of time all the way to 2017. Clickbait's still happening today, so beware. Social media sparks are infested with clickbait. Now enjoy the work cited I got all this information from. Sponsored by Geico.